here's how to easily and quickly create an excellent intent pop-up for your WordPress website. Let's dive in. First things first, you need to have installed Thrive Leads on your WordPress website in order to follow along this tutorial. There's a link in the description box to grab a license in case you need it. And there's also a card popping up. God, are not I'm terrible at this here or here? I'm not sure. Um, if you need any help running through the installation process, this video should help you out. Um, all right, let's dive in. Great, so as you can see, I'm in the back end of my WordPress website and I'm going to go ahead and navigate directly into Thrive Leads. Perfect, and now in order to create our Excel intent uh, pop-up, we need to create a new type of lead group. But first, I want you to understand how lead groups work. So groups are a great way of organizing different types of opt-in forms by categories. For example, we're gonna create a new type of lead group that's called newsletter. And inside this, this group, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create all of my different types of opt-in forms that prompt people to opt-in into my newsletter. But I could have, let's say, a different type of, of lead group called Black Friday Sale. And here I would have all of my different forms that are prompting people to opt-in into a Black Friday Sale, for example. So think of groups as just, uh, you know, as a way of organizing different types of forms by events or categories or you know something like that great so let's actually go ahead and create a new exit intent pop-up click on this add new type of opt-in form and we're going to be doing a screen filler light box technically speaking um, you could also use a light box or a slide in but you know for the key you know for, for the purpose of um, attracting our visitors attention i think that a screen filler works really well for exit and temp pop-up. So let's go ahead and click on this option. Great, and now we need to add a new type of form. Perfect, so here Thrive Leads is prompting us to create a new type of form, and let's just call this exit intent form. Great, so here we have a few things that we need to take care of. The first one is um, we need to tell when exactly should Thrive Leads trigger this exit intent form. And of course, it's not going to be displaced immediately on page load, but rather we want to show it when the user is about to exit the page, exit intent. Um, and this is actually important. Uh, here, Thrive Leads is saying we can't detect this trigger on a mobile device. So here you can choose an alternative trigger just for mobile devices which means that, you know, once um, the page has finished loading, you can wait for 100 for X amount of seconds um, to trigger this exit intent. So for example, if you think that um, someone is might leave your website after 10 seconds, well then, you know, 10 seconds would be smart. Or you could just also leave this off and not show an exit intent on mobile devices. Let's just leave it turned off for now. We can also change how often we're going to show the exit intent, which means that, um, for example, if we set it to zero, that means that every single time a user is on our site and tries to leave, they're going to be presented with this with this exit intent form. Or, um, you know, if you think that might be a little bit too aggressive, you could show it to them once a week. Um, this really comes down to your own preferences and needs. Let's just leave it turned on uh, at all times for now. And last but not least, we can tell Thrive uh, Leads what type of, of animation we wish to use in order to present this exit intent form. A zoom in works really well. A slide in from top also works really well. And a slide in from bottom also works really well. I'm actually going to pick the slide in from bottom. Great. Now we can uh, hit this edit button and uh, start customizing our exit intent form. First things first, we do have the possibility of starting from scratch, but why do that when Thrive Leads offers us the possibility of starting our, our designs, um, you know, from a pre-built designed template? That's going to save us a little bit of time. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one that prompts people to opt in into our newsletter. This one, for example, should work fine. Great. So as you can see, this is my exit intent form. We have a Thrive Leads, a Thrive Leads element followed by a background section, 
And inside our background section, we have a series of columns, right? We've got the left-hand column, the right-hand column, and so forth and so on. Now, as you can see, this doesn't actually quite look like the um, like the template that we selected, right? We used to have a an opt-in form here. This is actually a two-step opt-in form where you know people are going to be presented with this exit intent form, and they first need to click on this button, send me the case study. And then here we've got another state. And this state will actually display the opt-in form. Now, this is completely optional. We could also delete this state number one and simply use our default state. And instead of having a button, we could always just insert a form, the generation form and have our form sit immediately on our exit intent form. This is another valid way of doing it. Let's hit save. Perfect. Great, we can now close this tab and we are done customizing our exit intent form. We are not quite done. Let's navigate over to our Thrive Leads dashboard once again. Here, we need to tell Thrive Leads how should the forms inside this group behave. For example, we need to set the targeting options for all of our forms here. First things first, let's make sure that we turn on this excellent intent form on desktop devices and let's tell Thrive Leads, hey, I want you to display this exit intent form on specific pages. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and display it on the home page. Great. So now let's navigate over to our home page and see how this exit intent form behaves in real life. Perfect. So I'm in my home page and if I'm scrolling down, but I were to decide to leave this website by uh, placing my cursor over to the um, you know, back arrow of my of my web browser, boom, there it is, my exit intent form. And that's about it. I mean, it's pretty simple and straightforward. There are a lot of ways in which you can get creative with Thrive Leads when it comes to customizing your exit intent pop-ups. You've got a lot of templates for a lot of different use cases that you can start working from. And if you have a design in mind that you're going after, you can always just, you know, start from scratch and work your way up there. But yeah. In the comment section down below in case you have any questions. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.